Hi, this is Donna from Frog Mahal, and I wanted to share with you my first Christmas album and also my first finished album. So I just had to share this with you. I'm not done I'm not all the way done, but I have to do the binding still. And these rings are too small because I'm having problems turning the pages. So I had to take the bottom ring off so I could at least turn the pages and then I'll have to go buy bigger rings and then put my um, fibers on there. But the first, uh, my paper that I was using is called Oh Christmas Tree and they're all glittered pages. Very pretty. Uh, the first page isn't too Christmassy in color but the Christmas paper is um, very pretty in the whole thing. I went and used these, I made these flowers and um, they come from following the paper trail. Lin, um, Laura shared that with us on YouTube and they're made from plastic and material and um, had fun making them. Very pretty. Thank you Laura for sharing that with us. You are magnificent in all your ideas. I really appreciate your videos. And I got the little um, tin tags or I forgot what you call them. Tin metal tags or whatever uh, from Belinda. And they're beautiful, Belinda, and I thank you so much for that. I think that adds a lot of shine and sparkle to the holiday season. Then I have a little um, piece of ribbon here that I'm using for the pocket. It says, "'Twas the night before Christmas." And turn the page. And I just left this paper. I love the paper. So um, I love the old-fashioned Santa Clauses. I, it's a sticker and I backed him with cardboard and made kind of a little pocket out of him. I have the old fashioned tags and I just stamped memories on the back of that. Shove it in there. <coughs> there's, excuse me. There's a place for a picture here and a big place for a picture here. And I just glued um, pine cone here, a little present here, and a teddy bear on a drum there and just kind of let the paper as is because I really like that. The next page <clears throat> I have two snowflakes that I cut with my Big Shot and I think they were out of Dr. Pepper cans because that's my choice of drink and I colored them with stays on ink. It has two tags. One that says Winter Wonder and has a cute little reindeer on the back. Can do journaly or pictures. The same on this one. It says turn on the twinkle. Big spot for a picture there also. And the next page I have, I just used this cut out on the big shot and made two other tags. Another turn on the twinkle with some stamped snowflakes. And then this tag, this is for journaling. And uh could put a picture back there also. And the next page, I left this one blank right here. Um, they can put a picture here. And then I have two tags, little ornaments, journaling, planes in the back for a photo. Same on here. And then you can put a photo on there, but I really like that paper. It's all sparkly, glittery. And then I love snowmen, so I put my little snowman in there and dressed him up with his little snow hat and put snowman melt your heart. And I have another one of these um, tags from Belinda. I just cut it down uh, so it would fit in the smaller space right here. Um, but I thought he was really cute. On the snowman, I used Eileen's True Snow, and then I used some really ultra-fine glitter to um, sparkle him up a little bit. I love that Eileen Snow. It's very nice paint. You have to paint it on, but it's really nice. The next page says Winter Wonder. I just took this piece of paper. I saw this on uh, YouTube. I think several of them were doing that, and I'm sorry I don't remember the names, but 
Um, you get the paper wet, rip it, and then kind of roll it to make it look old and rolled at. And then these trees I cut out of this paper over here. I had I have this holiday paper. So I cut the trees out and I put some little gold bling and I noticed one of my little blings on the top of the tree fell off over here so I have to glue him back. And this tag is from Belinda and she stamped it and colored it for me. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous how that turns out. Thank you again Belinda. I really love these tags. I'll have to buy some more. Then this page here I put another piece of ribbon. This time I put the silver um, bling on the little stars um, to add a little bit more to them. There's a big, uh, big spot here for pictures and then I made these three little ornaments um, for journaling or put pictures on the back. Just decorated them up a little bit and stick them in there. And the last page is the same as the front page and I put a little picture frame here has some music a uh, music sheet paper in the back and it says Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night so it isn't that thick but I didn't want to make this one that thick right now I'm just kind of playing seeing what I can do but I thought it turned out pretty nice, especially for my number one. And I just wanted to share that with you. And then now I had some um, my uh, Christmas cards. This one here is ancient. Um, I was going to share with you the new one that I made this year, but I forgot and mailed it off um, to the lady that I was mailing it to. And so I pulled out my old one. You can see it's old, snow's yellow, it's all dirty and everything, but this is what it looked like. It's 3D. The stamp came from Personal Stamp Exchange. They were my absolute favorite stamping company. They are no longer in business, and I'm so sad, but um, this is the stamp, and I love it. So I just had to make another card this year. This is five layers. It has the first layer on the white. This is the second, or well, four layers rather. The second layer, the third layer, and the fourth layer. So you can see all the layers in there. So I had four layers on there. Did the red, the green, and the white. I stamped the house and used embossing powder. I don't remember the color of the embossing powder, but the whole house was stamped in that. And this right here is liquid applique, I also call it puff paints, but the applique, liquid applique, and you just use it and squirt it out, you know, wherever you want it, and then use your heat gun to puff it up. And then I put glue on there and put the ultra fine um, glitter on there to make the snow glitter, but that that's almost gone. But that was my card, and I made just one, I think, this year and sent it to um, the lady that I'm exchanging cards with every month. And then the other um, card that I made is the same thing but not in 3D. It's just a flat stamped um, house. But I did the snow and painted the house a little darker than I did before. I really like the dark green with the red um, mulberry paper I think it really adds to the card. Um, I didn't really like the way this one was compared. I think this one is a little more warm, has a little more warmth feeling to it. Here's one that has a little more snow at the bottom. Um, I used the Martha Stewart Punch. This one right here, I don't know what it's called, but it has like little hearts on it. It's really cute. And as you can see, I don't know how to do my corners quite well enough, but, but that's how that looks. I put a little snow on the bottom or not. Either one looks fine. And then I distress the edges of that with um, the Distress Ink um, color in tea dye. So it added, added a little more warmth to that also. 
Um, on some of these, are, the snow on these, I was in a really big hurry, and it's easier and faster to do the liquid applique than do Eileen Snow, but one of them I did Eileen Snow, and I really liked the way that looked. But the true snow, and you have to paint it on with a, a very small paintbrush. But um, it didn't matter. I like them both, but I thought the Eileen Snow was better if you have a little more time on your hands. So there you go, and I thank you for watching. And um, I want all you YouTubers to have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. Frog hugs. <laughs>